For 16 hours, parts of Louisiana and Mississippi felt the fury of Hurricane Ida with wind gusts up to 172 miles per hour. More than 1 million customers are all without electricity, including all of New Orleans. That's where CBS 4's Michael George is with the latest. Ida's powerful gusts ripped off roofs across Louisiana. Flying debris knocked down power lines, leaving more than a million people in the dark. In New Orleans, rising floodwaters trapped these drivers in their cars. Is there any way that like you can come halfway? We'll walk over the bridge or close to you. Officials say it may be 72 hours before rescue crews can get to those trapped. <laughs> Debris flew off Oshner Medical Center in New Orleans. Hospitals across the area continue treating patients, even in the hazardous conditions. We have a considerable amount of damage to the hospital itself. On CBS This Morning, Dr. Mark Klein of New Orleans Children's Hospital says he's making plans to evacuate patients because of power concerns. We currently have uh, fuel for emergency generation um, to last about another four days. Uh, and we don't know what our ability will be to get additional fuel in. We're only now seeing up close the devastation left in Ida's path. Brick buildings like this one in downtown New Orleans were completely reduced to rubble. Officials say they're working to use generators to pump storm water out and drinking water in. As Ida leaves a trail of damage across Louisiana and Mississippi, FEMA officials say it's going to be weeks before the power is fully restored across the area. Michael George, CBS News, New Orleans.